Hi, this is Prak with iRepair MD, and today we're going to be covering the Galaxy S3. And this process will actually work on the Galaxy S4 and the Galaxy Note. But what we need is the ability to actually have a test model. And what we're going to do is actually use this Galaxy S3 logic board and test to see if this LCD still works, okay? So let's go ahead and power it up. Go ahead and power this Galaxy S3. All right. As you can see the Samsung Galaxy still works. Let it run to all its course. Well, it's two criteria to make this process work. Your screen's got to number one, LCD's got to still work, and number two, the touch on it has got to also still be active. All right. So, as you can see, the touch still works on here. So, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to successfully separate the um, the frame, the LCD from the frame and then how to remove the glass for my UV bonding and again this is the process that I'm going to, the liquid I'm going to use this is 3cc design for the Galaxy S3 and the iPhone 5 and iPhone 4 you can get it from my shop along with the Galaxy Glass. And so once you buy it, what you're going to get is most, uh, black, white, uh, blue, the Galaxy S3, plus one of this right here, and also the uh, liquid bonding adhesive remover. Okay? And okay, what you're going to need for this process is uh, isopropyl alcohol, 99.9% .9 pure anhydrous and this is designed for electronics you'll need a um, I guess you can call it a tu Tupperware and I have alcohol in here and you'll need this to be glass okay what we're going to do is actually have this heating station here we're going to heat the alcohol to about a hundred and fifty degrees so that way once we dip the screen in that's what we're going to do now is actually dip the whole screen into here okay and I'm going to go ahead and put a lid on it let it sit there for about five minutes okay and let's see what happens okay now it's been five minutes so go ahead and put the screen over here I'm going to transition all right so now let's go ahead and remove the Glass, so it's submerged in alcohol now. What you do is go ahead and actually remove some of the glass because what you want to do is get underneath the LCD. Alright, so I'm getting more of this. Let's get my tray out, my glass tray. Alright, so now I remove the frame out. What I'm going to do is actually get the alcohol to go underneath the LCD. Okay, taking some of these strip off right here.
Okay. All right, keep it submerged. All right. And now use a razor to lift this up. All right. So now get a business card right underneath of this, as you can see. And now the alcohol is actually removed, being removed. So let's go ahead. What I'm going to do is actually remove some more of these frames right here. The biggest problem I have is always this uh, headphone but, uh, bracket right here. Let's get removed. Need to remove that out of the way. Okay, so now. Go ahead and get that out of the way, and then we should be good to go. There you go. Pull this out of the way. All right. Somebody just a little bit. Get some alcohol in here. Now we're going to run this around this way. Okay. I'll go ahead and dip it a little bit more. Okay. All right. As you can see now, flip this over, push this around. Out so we can lift the rest of the glass off. All right. So what we're gonna do? We got it off now. So I'm gonna reuse these uh, heat sink tape right here. That's on the back of this. The adhesive on it is actually being very flexible because of the alcohol that's put onto it. So push it out of the way. Lay out the adhesive right here. Okay. And what we're gonna do is let the alcohol evaporate off the back of this for leave let it sit for about five minutes, okay? So allow the alcohol to evaporate the adhesive here to stick on. Let me peel this off also. All right. Okay, I think we're good here. And let it sit there for about five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes, so what we're gonna do now, now that the alcohol evaporate everything back there is going to be pretty tacky so cutting a piece of plastic to protect the um, display and prevent any kind of particle from sticking to the back of the display because it might damage it if you mount it and people keep um, having regular traffic on it so what I'm going to do is seal it off here and let's go ahead and test this display okay make sure it works so what I'm going to do, go ahead, plug it back into here. Let me, where is the connector? All right. There you go. Took a while. Okay, now it's going to power it up. Power button on the side right here. So, with my screwdriver here, I'm going to go ahead and add pressure onto this and then power up the display. There you go. See? 
Let me drag this over here. You can actually see the whole screen. So now you can see I effectively separated the back glass. I mean the LCD from the actual back frame, which now you can actually put it onto any model Galaxy. You can do the Sprint version, T-Mobile, or whatever the 300, 3000 version. Okay. Let me go ahead and let it run here. You see the touch works. Perfect. All right. So now that I have that working, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to actually separate the glass, broken glass from the um, the working LCD and digitizer. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead now. Uh, ready to go. All you need is a heat gun. Right here, I got this one from Radio Shack, about $20, $25. This here is a flat glass separation tool. Um, all you really need is this. Uh, I will have it on my eBay site for $25. So go ahead and do the separa separation. Add heat. Make sure you don't add too much heat that you burn the LCD, but add enough heat to actually loosen the glue. I'm running it around. Feel like uh, top of a hot asphalt on a hot summer day. That would be enough. Anything hotter might burn up the LCD, and that's not what you want. All right. So what we do now is actually go ahead and separate the glass right there. First thing you do is just get rid of all the small ones first. Smaller individual pieces. All right. Go ahead. Heat it up a little bit. So what you want is actually, I'm going to zoom in and show you what you want. Alright, so see, you want the bubble to slowly spread out. Okay. And we're going to work it from there. Run some heat in. Okay. Zoom out again. Alright. Now just run this separation tool right on it, adding only horizontal pressure and not any pressure downward or else you'll crack the LCD. Take your time on this. You got a brittle itself LCD. It can easily damage if you do it the wrong way. All right, that's my heat. Alright, so just get all the small glass out of the way. Got more heat.
this out. All right, we'll just, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and advance forward. All I have to do is just work out all these small glasses, use the heat, don't push it. If it feels like it's just resistant, add some more heat onto it, okay? And the next thing you'll see is when I'm about to be finished. All right, so I've gotten rid of most of the glass right here, and so what I'm gonna show you to do, well, my technique is mainly to look at the way the veins of the glass is cracked and so you, what you do is you move you add some heat and then you move it in the direction of the vein all right so some heat right here and then using this tool you just follow the grain all right so now All right, so as you can see, uh, I'm angling it so I can remove the rest of these. So these are the last and the final glass. Got this here. All right, so now what you need to do, just clean off the surface here. Um, use a little alcohol. Cap right here. Okay. And my microfiber cloth. And what I'm gonna do is just The heat actually caused these to wrinkle, so I definitely want to get rid of it and change, put a brand new back on it. All right, reposition this later. Okay, protect the LCD, <coughs> lay it flat. Go ahead and actually clean this off. Clean all this out of the way. Clean all the excess glue out. This glue is not like the iPhone 5 or iPhone 4S glue. It's more of a gel wax, so it actually rolls off fairly easy. And let's go ahead and actually 
go ahead and test this out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually plug this in here. Go ahead and test this battery. All right. I'm going to power this on. Okay. Move this over so you can actually see. Oops, let's power back up. Okay. <clears throat> As you can see, the LCD works perfectly. All the colors, there's no burning. You gotta apply just the right amount of heat. And if we're, we're, once it starts up, I'm gonna show you the test touch screen, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to mount it. All right, so as you can see, the touch works perfectly. All right, so let's go ahead and disable this. All right, so what we need to do is clean off this okay and then we're gonna go ahead and start using the my UVX curing okay this is a 3cc is pretty much all you need for this particular uh, display which I phone Galaxy S3 and I'll show you how to prep everything and how to use the frame to help you align it, okay? All right, so now we can go ahead and put the frame on. Let's go ahead and actually put it back in here. Make sure it aligns and sit in place. The only reason why we're reusing this back plate here is only for alignment of the glass because eventually I'll show you how to remove it out too. All right. Okay, so now let's prep the area. Clean it off. All right, so go ahead. Put clear tape. Go ahead and prep this. Just tape, give it about a quarter inch, or well, one eighth of an inch away from the edge. All right, same here, one eighth of an inch on the edge. All right, so go ahead and put, finish off the tape from all around. Make sure the surface is clean off really well. 
no lint. And then make sure this stuff is clean off really well. Okay. And let's go ahead. In this case, we're going to use the UV bonding liquid and we're going to do a Y formation. Go ahead and peel top plastic off. All right. Now let's go ahead and work out the bubbles. Alright, so Okay, so now I cut out a line, so I took out the frame right here. So working out the bubbles, I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down and just get rid of all the micro bottle bubbles that could exist in here. Okay, and at the meantime, you can also actually check for alignment. See these micro bubbles here. You look closer, you can actually see the frame. So all you have to do is just make sure it's perfectly centered in all the frames. And then you can use the UV curing pen, which I also sell on my website, my eBay. This is right here to cure it. For spot curing. Put on the light here. All right. So now. Alright, go ahead and line it up. Just clean the glass. Alright, so now once you get it there to where you want, you can actually flip this over to make sure 
it actually aligns right to. So I'm going to go ahead and align it up this way. You see. I'm actually using my using orange glow right here to make it clear. And now I make sure everything is nice and lined up. All right, so go ahead and use my UV glue, light, I mean, to shine, to hold it in place. Okay, each corner, make sure it's actually cured and lock in place. All right, so now what we're gonna do is actually put it into the UV curing chamber. All right, so go ahead, set this for five minutes. One, okay, and now I'm gonna leave it sitting there for five minutes and then we'll take it out and clean it off. Okay, so now it's from the UV chamber. Let's go ahead and actually clean this off. So go ahead and do my peel. for now. Okay. Go ahead and pull all the excess liquid that build up on the side off right here. Just pull it carefully. If you do it this way, what will happen is that actually you won't have the issue that most people do when they use the UV bond without removing the frame. What most people have is uh, they have a working phone for a few weeks and then afterwards the phone died because of the corrosion. The, the liquid actually got to the back here and start corroding the connection. That prevents the uh, display from working well. When you do it this process, my process will actually um, allow you to clean off any excess liquid 
it could be corroding your connection like I'm doing now okay so let's go ahead and plug this in test the connection here we go put the connectors back on place All right, let's go ahead and power up the display. All right. <clears throat> As you can see, zoom out a little bit so you can actually see everything. All right. So now we're going to test the LCD, the touch. All right, let's go ahead and test the touch out. As you can see, the touch works perfectly. All right, so now this is when the display is all cleaned up, and I'll show you. This is the final product. Go ahead and put the battery in, and let me go ahead and Turn on the phone. Okay. As you can see, the LED, there's no discoloration, everything looks great. And let's go ahead and let it go through all the power cycle. Okay. This is a Verizon test board I'm using. But once you build it this way, you can pretty much put it on, on any platform. Let's go ahead and test the touch. As you can see, this is a perfectly working phone. But anyways, um, that's it. You guys just go to my eBay store and look for this product right over here. This is call again. This is my bonding liquid that I use. It's the UVX UV curing. It's approximately 3 cc, so it's exactly enough to do a Galaxy S3 or S4 or iPhone 5 screen. And um, you can buy the glass and the whole kit with this product and the cleanser for $45. And again, I will have it on my B eBay site. Until then, you guys have a safe repair. Take care.